Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily create a form in Airtable. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Airtable, you want to click on the views and then you're going to find a form. You want to click plus and then you can choose like the name of it. I'm going to name like form for YouTube and who can edit, it's, it's going to be collaborative or personal. I'm going to choose collaborative create a new view. Now when we have it, what you can do here. So you have automatically all the views, uh, all the columns or the fields that you have in your main grid view, you're going to find in your form. So here you can see the assignee, uh, the status, duration, expenses, and you can like share the form, open it. Now what I can do, I can like remove all. So I just remove all the fields. So what do I need? So let's say that I'm going to share this with a, a, like a potential client that wants me to create a YouTube video. So I'm going to add a name. Then I'm going to have uh, expenses. I'm going to also add a new field, which is going to be called description of video. And it can be long text, save. So we have name, expenses, description of video, and then uh, we can also have uh, email, right? That can be fun. So you can like add multiple things here, email. Now, when we have it, I can simply add a cover image. I can add a logo, but you need to uh, like upgrade here. Then you can also edit the label for submitting. And then you can show Airtable branding. And after the form is submitted, you have an option to show this message. Thank you for submitting the form. You can change that. You have also option to show a, like submit another response. Then show a new blank form after five seconds or email me at my mail. So now when I have it and when I got everything, I can simply go and open the form on the top left here and I see how it looks like. What I can do is to simply click share form and you have option to restrict access with a password, restrict access to an email domain. So someone will have to add a password to actually um, like enter it and fill it out. Then you can have option like stop accepting our new responses if you can have enough. You can also restrict access to an email domain. So when I have it, I can simply click copy. Now I'm going to write here and paste it. Name, let's say it's going to be a uh, name, but okay, I forgot to show you something guys. When you're gonna edit it, what you can do is to uh, not only change a name, you can have it, let's say name of video. You can also add some help text you can make it required. So I'm going to make it required. Then you, when you would click here, you can easily also remove field from form. Then you can show field only when conditions are met. So let's say expenses. I can add, let's say show only field where only conditions are met, where name contains something, then it's going to be shown. So that's something you can do. I can add a description to the, of the video, an email, and submit. You can always make uh, it also required. So now when we have it, what I can do is to simply uh, fill it out. So I'm going to refresh the, web, the form, and you can see that it's already that it's they need to write there. So Marcus expenses, let's say $500 description. I want to make a video about marketing and Airtable tutorial. And now when I have it, I can add an email address. And again, I would add it uh, Marcus gmail.com. Now I'm going to save it. Submit. And voila, here I have it. 
So when you got it, I'm going back to Airtable. Now when I would click on a grid view, I can see the name YouTube Business Video or Marcus and see I want to make a video about marketing in Airtable. So this is pretty much it how we can make it and how you can do it. So again, you choose here, you can add all fields or remove all fields. You can add a field to the table and choose which one you want. So that's pretty much it how we do it. And this is pretty much it how we can use the form. Now, if you're going to regard any questions regard forms, uh, you can add it to favorites, favorites, uh, ask me down on comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Like for every form, for every view, like let's say for CRM, you would have something else. For ticketing, you would have a. Uh, you wouldn't write your description of the video. You write a uh, description of problem. What you have also is to have a status, a single select, but you wouldn't have a uh, like a status if it's going to be to do in progress done. But let's say the priority, right? So I can simply click here on the grid view. I can add priority right here. So let's say it's going to be single select. Not like this. Click here. Single select. Now I can add option. So let's say priority. And it's going to be uh, business or like let's say high priority medium low and I can simply change the color create a field so now I can simply choose the priority of course when you go on the form of YouTube you can simply choose the priority edit here I can move it So I need to like remove it now. And edit here. And you have the drop down here. Limit sex selection to specific options. Show fill only when conditions are met. You can show it as a list or a drop down. And then I can easily open the form and see how it looks like. So this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can use it how we can use form in Airtable. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and see ya. Goodbye.